Hello Army, did you hear the latest news about Suga being in controversy? Some shocking allegations have surfaced, leaving fans and netizens in disbelief. What if we told you that a media outlet in South Korea recently accused Suga of receiving special treatment during his mandatory military service? Yes, you heard that right. These claims suggest that Suga has access to exclusive privileges that other soldiers can only dream of, an alleged private room, exceptional amenities, and even preferential treatment from senior officers. But how much of this is true? And how did the military respond to such explosive accusations? Let's dive deep into the news, Suga is accused of receiving special treatment in the military or being treated differently compared to other civilians who are also undergoing mandatory military service. Allegedly, he was given a spacious, well-furnished private room, unlike the shared quarters typically provided to enlisted men. They also claimed that Suga meals were adjusted to his preferences, with special food brought in exclusively for him. His schedule was reportedly tailored to his desires, and Suga was also accused of receiving special treatment from the military authorities. For many, the idea that Suga could be receiving special treatment felt like a direct challenge to South Korea principle of equality in mandatory military service. Fans were quick to defend him, pointing out his humility and dedication to fulfilling his duties. But others questioned the integrity of the system, wondering if celebrity status could truly buy preferential treatment, even in such a highly regulated institution, however, the South Korean military wasted no time in addressing these accusations. In an official statement, they firmly denied all allegations, emphasizing their commitment to fairness and equal treatment for all enlistees, regardless of their background or fame. Every soldier is treated equally under the same rules and regulations, a spokesperson declared. They further elaborated that Suga living arrangements and responsibilities were entirely in line with military protocol, without any deviations, but that's not all. The military revealed additional information about the rigorous checks and balances in place. No one, not even a global celebrity, can bypass the system, they stated. They described how routine inspections and oversight from commanding officers ensure strict adherence to standards. The spokesperson added, there is no provision for private quarters or personalized schedules. Any such claims are baseless. Despite the military firm stance, the allegations have sparked heated discussions among the army and the general public. Supporters have flooded social media with messages defending Suga, praising his commitment and down-to-earth personality. Suga has always been about hard work and integrity, one fan commented. He's not the kind of person to demand special treatment. Others called for a thorough investigation, urging the military to transparently prove their claims. Some soldiers, who served under similar conditions as Suga, have stepped forward to share their experiences. They unanimously echoed the sentiment that the South Korean military is strict and impartial when it comes to enforcing rules. An enlisted soldier commented, the idea of receiving personalized meals or private quarters is laughable. Even high-ranking officers adhere to the same basic standards as everyone else. It's simply not how the system works. Meanwhile, insiders within the entertainment industry have offered another perspective. They pointed out that high-profile figures like Suga often face unique challenges in the military. From managing their immense public visibility to adjusting to a completely different lifestyle, these individuals often encounter added layers of scrutiny that ordinary soldiers do not. A well-known military analyst commented, for celebrities, even the smallest deviation from the norm, intentional or not, can easily be misinterpreted as favoritism. It's a delicate situation. At the same time, army and netizens began investigating the motivations behind these allegations. Some speculated that the media outlet responsible for the claims might have ulterior motives. Given BTS' global influence and the fact that any controversy surrounding its members garners significant attention, some believe this could be an attempt to profit from sensationalism. Others hypothesize that the source of the accusations could be a rival figure or an individual seeking to diminish Suga reputation. Interestingly, the military spokesperson elaborated further in subsequent press briefings. They disclosed that all soldiers undergo regular inspections to ensure adherence to rules emphasizing that any deviation is quickly addressed. Every aspect of military life, from meal times to sleeping arrangements, 
is monitored. Claims suggesting preferential treatment are entirely unfounded. If Suga were to receive special treatment, it would have been flagged immediately during our routine checks, they said that in a rare move, the military also shared anonymized examples of other high-profile individuals who served in the past, demonstrating that all soldiers, regardless of fame, faced the same rigorous standards. This decision was seen as an effort to bolster transparency and reassure the public. The spokesperson concluded by appealing to the public for trust in the military integrity, stating, we understand the concerns and curiosity surrounding Mr. Min Yungi's service. However, we urge everyone to refrain from jumping to conclusions based on rumors. Despite the military's efforts to clarify the situation, the allegations have left a lasting impact on social discourse. Many are now questioning the role of media accountability in spreading potentially harmful narratives. The ripple effects of these accusations have reached beyond Suga, highlighting broader issues surrounding celebrity treatment in South Korea mandatory service system. Are public figures unfairly targeted, or does their fame warrant additional scrutiny to maintain public trust? On the flip side, some experts argue that the controversy could serve as a wake-up call for the military. Transparency is key, one sociologist noted. Even if the accusations are baseless, the fact that they were believable enough to gain traction suggests a need for the military to communicate better with the public some of Suga's closest friends and colleagues have spoken up in his defense. Without directly addressing the allegations, they shared anecdotes that underscored his character. Yungi is someone who holds himself to incredibly high standards, one friend commented. He takes his responsibilities seriously, whether in music, life, or his service. The controversy has also sparked broader conversations about the challenges celebrities face when fulfilling mandatory service. While many view military service as a great equalizer, it's undeniable that public figures often find themselves under intense scrutiny. Balancing their responsibilities as soldiers with their public image is no easy feat, and even a hint of controversy can lead to widespread speculation, but here's the twist, what if the accusations are merely a distraction? Some fans have speculated that the real news might lie elsewhere, perhaps an attempt to divert attention from larger issues within the system or even a coordinated effort to tarnish Suga image. Will this controversy ultimately harm or help Suga in the long run? While the accusations have cast an unwarranted shadow over his military service, they've also spotlighted his resilience and the unwavering loyalty of his fans. Whether this chapter becomes a footnote or a defining moment in Suga life remains to be seen. His journey through these challenges will only solidify his legacy as a global icon who faced every trial with grace and strength, Suga dedication to serving his country cannot be overshadowed by baseless allegations. Whether you believe the military statements or think there's more to the news.so, army, what do you think? Are these allegations just another case of media sensationalism, or do they point to deeper systemic issues? Let us know your thoughts in the comments and stay tuned for updates as we continue to uncover the truth behind this intriguing case. Thank you for have been watching updates from us until until the finish continue to look forward to the hunt from us see you again in other videos and bye.